In this video, let's take a look at the linear search algorithm. Here is the problem statement. Given an array of n elements and a target element t, find the index of t in the array. Return minus 1 if the target element is not found. Here are a few examples to help you understand better. If you have an array with 5 numbers, minus 5, 2, 10, 4, and 6, and target element t is equal to 10, our solution should return 2 since 10 is at index 2 in the array. With the same array and t is equal to 6, our solution should return 4, and with the same array but t is equal to 20, the solution should return minus 1 as 20 is not present in the array. If you've understood the problem statement, please pause the video and try to solve the problem. All right, let's now solve the problem together. Before we write the code, let's understand how should we go about this in pseudocode. The linear search algorithm is as simple as they come. In this algorithm, you start at the first element in the array and move towards the last. At each element though, you check if the element is equal to the target element. If it is, return the index of that element. If you've gone through the entire array but did not find the element, return minus 1. If you've understood this, let's write the code. I'm back here in Replit with our index.js file. Let's begin by defining the function signature. Function, linear search, parentheses, and curly braces. The function will have two parameters, arr, which represents the array we have to search, and target, which represents the element we have to find in the array. For example, calling the function with array being a list of 5 numbers and target equal to 10, 6 and 20 should return 2, 4 and minus 1 respectively. From our pseudocode, we know that we have to go through each element in the array. Now we could use a for off loop, but we also need to return the index if the element is found. So we can rely on a basic for loop. For let i is equal to 0, i less than array dot length, i plus plus. So traverse the entire array. While traversing though, if any element in the iteration is equal to the target, so if array of i is equal to target, return the index. So return i. However, if you have gone through the entire loop and did not find the element, return minus 1. That pretty much is the linear search algorithm. Let's verify by running the code. Format. We see the three values corresponding to each function call. Our code works as expected. What I would like you to do now is take a pen and paper, trace the function execution for this array and target is equal to 10. That will give you a more clear understanding of the code we have written. All right, next it's time to determine the big O of our linear search function. Pause for a minute and determine the big O. Here is the cheat sheet which can be used as a guide. Pause now or let's estimate the big O together. Our function contains one for loop. From our cheat sheet, we can say that big O is linear time complexity. As the size of the array increases, the number of times the if condition executes also increases. So big O is equal to O of n. 
That is about linear search. In the next video, let's take a look at binary search. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.